Hi, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you a gift I received for my birthday. It's called the Ambient Weather Station and it's model WS2000. Here it is on Amazon. It has a rating of looks like a four and a half out of five rating, which is good. Um, here's a picture of it over here. So looking at it, it says you can measure wind speed, direction, temperature, humidity, rainfall, UV, and solar radiation. Also measures dew point and lets you know when lightning's in the forecast. There's a better picture of what it does. So we're going to unpack it, find a location to mount it, and we'll hook it up and see how it works. Okay, I just opened the box here. Looks like we have our power supply. Our display monitor here. So let's go ahead and unpack it, put it together and see what it does. Alrighty, here we have everything unboxed and ready to assemble. So we're over here looking at our instruction manual. Looks like we need a precision screwdriver, adjustable wrench, and compass or GPS for wind direction calibration. I do have a GPS, or you could probably use the compass on your phone, I would imagine. All right, so our first step is to install our wind gauge here. So the idea is to put it on here and then tighten it with our precision screwdriver. All right, we have our wind vane on. It says to make sure it turns free, freely, which it does. So on to the next step. Our next step is the wind cups. So the procedure is the same as the wind vane install it on the shaft and then tighten the screw all right we have the wind cups on and they're spinning freely all right we found a five foot pole and we have mounted it to the pole okay next we put the rain funnel in here so we line it up slide it in turn it clockwise and there you go all right and next we put the filter coil in so we just push that in till the hook on the bottom locks into place and there we have the filter coil in place all right we installed the two double a non-rechargeable batteries into the battery compartment and then the directions are to remove this sticker Press reset button to start sensor operation. Okay, we peeled off the sticker. That's our solar panel. And the sensor should be on underneath here. If we can find the light here. All right, there is the reset button right there that I pushed after I installed the batteries. All right, there we have it mounted on the roof. Uh, we ended up using an umbrella pole from uh, Old Umbrella. It ended up being the most stable. And looks like we're getting a thunderstorm starting here. So be interesting to go see the readings. And last thing we have the mount is the indoor sensor that measures temperature and humidity, and I believe pressure. So I'll go mount that in the house on the wall. And here we mounted the thermometer next to the thermostat in the house. And here we have the display screen inside the office to monitor the weather. Now, um, we have a, we have an evaporated cooler in the house, so you can tell the indoor humidity is 58%, which is pretty high. And 
right now here. Let's see, the humidity is 31%. We have thunderstorms coming in, so um, we have pretty high humidity. We normally run around, probably around 10%, 15% here. So there you have it. There's the weather station, and um, I'm looking forward to uh, trying it out. Thanks for watching.